Hey everyone, it's a new week and we've got a bunch of news from the gaming world. Let's not waste any time and get right into it. Here comes another Riptology. We got a couple new releases this week, and the first one of them is yet another entry to the Total War series. This time it's called Three Kingdoms. The series probably doesn't need any introduction, it's been with us since year 2000 and already gave us a lot of great entries. But just in case you don't know, it's a strategy game that makes you a commander of vast armies that battle in large-scale battles. Once the battle begins though, you switch to real-time mode and have to come up with the best strategy to beat your opponents. This time the game is set in ancient China that you will try to unite under your sovereign rule. There is a bit of news here, which is called the Romance Mode, that turns your generals and also the enemies into the sort of demigods, getting into epic duels with each other and mowing down normal units by dozens. This brings a new factor into gameplay that can potentially change the outcome of any battle. Otherwise, the game keeps building on its very well laid out foundations. Reviewers and critics alike give very high ratings and the game is praised for its perfect gameplay, improved performance and beautiful art style and graphics. Many will say that it's the best entry in the Total War franchise so far. But beware, the game can be pretty difficult at times, so there's a bit of a learning curve. But if you do get into it, you will be rewarded with one of the best medieval warfare strategies for sure. The game is a PC exclusive and is already out. Dauntless is an action RPG that just arrived in full version to Epic Store and you can also get it completely for free. Uh, with cross-platform support, you can also get it on Xbox and PlayStation. The game is a classic Monster Slayer game, and we just can't deny its similarity to Monster Hunter World. The core gameplay is pretty simple. You're a slayer on a hunt for behemoths. You go hunting, kill the beast, and you come back to town to craft and upgrade your gear based on the materials you have collected. You basically do this over and over. You get to choose from different weapons, of course, and there's a rich upgrade system that also includes elemental powers like water, fire, earth, and so on. And a good slayer enhances his armor and weapons accordingly, based on the behemoth he or she wants to take down. There's, of course, a bunch of other bonuses and special abilities. Also, you won't be going all on your own, as you can have a party of up to four people. The game has been in early access since 2018, but it seems that the devs finally got the performance fixed and also added a couple new things that the players were asking for. And like I said, it's completely free, you can get it on PC, Xbox and PlayStation. So if you like what you see, definitely go and give it a shot. We also got something for fans of adventure games this week. Observation puts you on board of a space station where most crew members mysteriously disappeared, except Dr. Emma Fisher and her only companion is the station's artificial intelligence, Sam. Together, they are trying to find the missing people and find out what exactly is going on. Oh yeah, and also, something has happened to Sam and he is starting to behave pretty weird for an AI. It is no coincidence that it all sounds pretty familiar, as the devs themselves have stated that it's pretty much based on a 2000 A Space Odyssey movie. But hold on, the most important plot twist is the fact that you get to play Sam and you have the control of the entire space station, including all its various systems and also cameras. By solving clever puzzles, you will be guiding Dr. Fisher through the tight corridors and you will be responsible for her general well-being. The game's mechanics and setting kind of resemble Alien Isolation, and the creepy environment of an abandoned space station is filled with perfect sound design and stylized visuals. The game feels like a breath of fresh air in the gaming industry nowadays and offers a little different take on a space adventure than most. It's available for PC and PlayStation 4. Just like me, many will still remember a great zombie survival game called Dead Island and its planned sequel. That was announced all the way back in 2014 and we got this amazingly hilarious uh, trailer to go with it. Unfortunately, the game's development met a couple of unfortunate events and now it seems like the game might never come out at all. But wait, CEO of THQ Nordic claimed that Dead Island 2 is still in the works and that is unfortunately all we got. But it's still great news for some of us who are eagerly awaiting the return of this memorable franchise. The game had its problems, but I personally can't wait to see what's next for Dead Island. Have you also seen that trailer for the live-action movie adaptation of Sonic the Hedgehog? 
Yeah, the one that caused a major backlash against the creators of the movie. Uh, mostly because of the way the Sonic looks. But hold on, something pretty unexpected happened. The makers took the criticism with an open mind and are currently reworking Sonic's appearance. Movie's director Jeff Fowler currently posted a new release date on his Twitter. The new date is set to 14th February of 2020, so it will be delayed by a couple of months. Fans originally hated that Sonic has separated eyes, creepy smile with human-like teeth and also the general body shape. I mean, look at that. So let's see how the filmmakers do, because they are definitely on a bit of a deadline. But at least we got a bunch of great memes so far. And that is it for this week's Reptology. Thank you and don't forget to hit that subscribe and bell icon so you get notified the next time a video is up so you don't miss the news. Also, you can show your support by liking the video, giving me a comment down there. You know, these videos, they take a lot of effort, so it always makes me happy to see you engage in any way. You can also stop by my Twitch stream, I stream there quite a bit. And you can also join the Discord server where we also discuss what topics to cover next time. So remember guys, what is dead may never die. And I'll see you next time. Ciao!